An assumption is a belief held without evidence. Muslims start from an assumption and challenge people to disprove that assumption. This is completely the wrong way to form beliefs about the world, as there are many absurd claims out there that one cannot necessarily 100% disprove. For example, the Illuminati is an all-powerful, all-knowing, invisible body that one cannot disprove the existence of, but basic reasoning tells us it's extremely unlikely to exist. The same reasoning applies to the all-powerful, all-knowing, invisible body known as God or Allah. When forming beliefs, one must start from a position of uncertainty, then weigh up both sides of the argument with an open mind, and only then form a reasonable belief. The need for beliefs to be evidenced is the most basic common ground for discussion and debate. Without this, discourse breaks down and mankind is divided into hostile, bigoted factions. Now, the amount of evidence needed for a belief scales to the magnitude of the claims that belief makes. In other words, extraordinary beliefs require extraordinary evidence. Belief in Islam is extraordinary since its holy book, the Quran, claims to contain the perfect, indisputable words and commandments of the creator of the entire universe. However, this extraordinary belief has almost no evidence supporting it. Even if a god existed, which is very unlikely, this would be evidence as much for the thousands of other religions that humans have invented as for Islam. Therefore, it is completely unreasonable if we start from a position of uncertainty to have a strong belief in the Quran's perfect truth. Therefore, Muslims should renounce the Quran's perfect truth. As a side note, David Hume, an 18th century founding father of conservatism, warned against too much religiousness, so conservatives should not shy away from criticism of religion as being unconservative, but rather embrace it as part of our Enlightenment tradition.